In a moment, we will be discussing how to avoid four of the most common but avoidable problems plaguing many LAN desk deployments. First, we want to be able to validate that every endpoint has a LAN desk agent installed. Like most endpoint management solution, LAN desk's architecture relies on agents installed on every managed endpoint in the organization. These agents must be configured accurately on each endpoint for the solution to be available and effective. Unfortunately, agent-based technologies are susceptible to a common weakness. Agents themselves can be disabled or missing, rendering the associated solution uselessly unavailable. Next, we want to validate that the nine required services and nine associated processes with Landesk are configured and running correctly. If any one of these fails because it is stopped, it is a critical problem that the Landesk console cannot remediate alone. And last, we want to validate that the processes are all running that are associated with the Landesk endpoint deployment. Hi, my name is Paul Wallen with Promisec. In this session, I'm going to show you how Promisec's unique agentless technology provides 100% visibility and control of your endpoints that can help stabilize and improve your Landesk deployment experience. Next, let's take a look at the custom Landisk configuration template that will define our inspection criteria and policies. This configuration template provides all of the technical requirements we need to inspect the health and status of our LAN desk deployment. It includes all the required services, associated processes, required for full de LAN desk functionality, as well as potential useful registry information pertaining to the LAN desk that will likely prove very valuable in ongoing management and maintenance of your LAN desk deployment. The solution that we are going to use will leverage your existing domain or local admin credentials to inspect your network without having to utilize WMI, ActiveX, or dissolvable agents. Here, as we can see in the inner space user defined dialog box, we can see we've already predefined all nine of the processes, a few registry items that will give us version controls, which is very, very important that you don't get in the LAN desk uh, manager console. And the biggest issue of uh, solving on a LAN desk deployment is having the services defined. So if an inspection occurs, we can quickly find the status of it. If it's disabled, we'll re-enable it and turn the service back on. Here we've predefined all nine of them. They are available on the PromiseSec website for download. Here, as you can see, they're very easy and very easily defined as well. Here you can see we've listed all nine, making sure the antivirus uh, services uh, defined as well, the management agent and power management, remote control and policy invoker. Here, very quickly, you can just cl click on the service items, bring up your local services that we have defined right here. We can just double click, highlight it, cut, copy and paste it, place it in. place the display name in as well, which is the same as the service name, add it, and as you can see, it's already defined there. So with that said, we can now move on and run an inspection and look at our results. More than just another monitoring and inspection tool, this solution provides robust auto and right-click remediation capabilities that can probably help make quick work of some of the most challenging land desk deployment problems. Here, we're looking at the console, the inner space console, and the results of our last inspection. This inspection was focused specifically on land desk configuration, making sure that the endpoint had all the serv services and processes running. As you can see, in this console, we do have the ability to sort by host name, IP address, object, status, additional information. Any column, you can sort on it. Let's go ahead and bring all the statuses together, and as you can see, we have quite a few machines running their normal land desk processes. Up here though, we did do some discovery that some two of these services that are on each one of the endpoints, specifically the power management and process trigger, are automatically generated specifically by land desk when they're needed. Here what we found though is we found four services on one specific XP accounting machine that had its services set to manual. This could have been done by a installer uh, having a conflict with the uh, service or a user that has local admin privileges has inadvertently turned it off. We do have the ability to do what we call right-click remediation. 
Here we can specifically look and drill into the endpoint without an agent and take a look. Here we can look at the view, the applications that are loaded on that endpoint. All objects are going to be listed. Here we can see them. Also, we can take a look at all the processes. This way we can see what's going on on that endpoint as well, and we can see that the land desk, pro uh, the land desk processes are uh, not running, validating our results that we have found. Here we found two other services that were set to automatic by PromiseSec when it went through and had done the inspection. Here you do have the ability to right click and remediate. You do have the ability as well as if we scroll here, we I believe there is we just found out that one endpoint does not have land desk installed. We do have the ability to go ahead and roll the software out to it. We can give it a name. Roll land desk. We can specifically give it any command line switches that we want. Let's go ahead and browse down to the either the executable or the MSI. It can be local on the box where the uh, endpoint is. It can be put on the share or it can be on your inner space or land desk server. It doesn't make a difference. So as we can see, we're going through and we're looking for the WSFG32, which is the distribution executable for land desk. We can go ahead, kick it off. But in the interest of this demonstration, we're not going to do it right now. Also, you can also define predefined actions. If you wanted to go in and see if a specific host was alive uh, that wasn't responding, you could issue a ping town to it. You could do a trace route to it. You can define anything that you want as an action. It can come from either the console server here or it can originate at the endpoint. So you have robust capabilities, not only to do discovery, but also to remediate. Here we're not trying to take away from Landesk. Landesk is a good enterprise distribution management tool. However, we, the agents can be corrupt and services disabled from time to time. We have just kicked off an inspection. As we can see, an inspection takes just a second or two for the endpoint to be completely inspected. There is no user impact to the endpoint during the inspection. Thus, inspections can be conducted during normal business hours with minimal change management. By not having an agent, Deployment times are limited to just a few hours, not days, weeks, or months. And as you can see, we on average take one to two seconds to an inspect a host without an agent. Here is our inner space uh, manager console. Here we can see that we have one sentry defined, and it can have multiple configurations, and they can be uh, turned on and off either by a schedule or by on demand. As you can see, we're scanning a Class C subnet speeding link right along and one of the things that you'll notice is that there's no user impact on the endpoints or on the server. Here as well you can have sentries, multiple sentries either resident on the inner space server or they can be deployed out into the enterprise. The sentry is a executable service that runs on a shared host, uh, can be virtualized or non-virtualized, doesn't make a difference. This is not a hardware solution and there is no dedicated appliance. So the flexibility of deployment is there to fit your needs. Also, one of the key things that you'll find is that the Sentry can be deployed across uh, to remote locations and then fundamentally route back across the public internet. Of course, providing the local setup is correctly with the firewall and ports. Here, as we continue down our inspection, these results will then be parsed into the database and then into the console for review. Thanks for watching. For a free, no obligation trial of this solution, contact us via email at sales at promisec.com or visit us on the web at www.promisec.com.